It is the weekend of winter in the city, social in the city, whatever this event is called. I'm going with winter in the city, but I actually think its official name is social in the city now. And it is Friday at lunchtime. I'm about to head to Birmingham. I feel like every time I say Birmingham, I say it in a Birmingham accent, Birmingham. Anyway, yeah, I'm heading to Birmingham because this weekend the event is at the NEC, which is so exciting. Usually this event is at the London XL. Uh, that is where it's like always been and it's only ever been once a year. Um, but today is the first weekend that it it has ever moved from London and also ever been in like the winter time which is so exciting. I am meeting Lydia at Sheffield train station in around an hour and a half, two hours and a half, two hours, two hours. To drive to the NEC from my house is two hours and ten minutes. To get the train to the NEC from my house is four hours. However, I'm getting the train because I don't want to drive it. I really, really don't like long distance driving. I did it last week and we passed Birmingham on the motorway and I just thought I really can't be bothered to do that again next week. I will get the train. Suitcase is packed. Outfits are somewhat chosen, although I kind of feel like I left it super last minute and I'm not 100% on my outfits, but like nothing I can do about it now. I just need to close up this bag. I'm bringing these Doc Martin style shoes because on the second day I want to wear them with my outfit, but they take up literally half the bag. So yeah, everything else is squished into that. Outside. I have had a really busy morning. I took my MacBook in to an Apple reseller in Hull and they have just quoted me £600 to have it repaired. I'm not doing that. So I need Tom to pick up my laptop because obviously now I don't have any time to go back and collect it. But I'm just collecting it because when I took it into Apple the other day, they said it was covered under warranty. But because this is a reseller, I'm a little bit unsure about whether or not they're charging me because they're a reseller or because it genuinely isn't covered under warranty. But I'd rather have a second opinion before I decide to pay £600 for it, obviously. So that was my morning. I've spent it running around in Hull, dropping off my laptop that I now need to re-pick up because I can't even be bothered to pay £600. I think that's a joke. <laughs> Okay, I'm now in Birmingham a short five hours later. Um, it wasn't meant to be five hours. Basically, I met Lydia. Well, I actually got on the same train as Lydia, but the train was absolutely packed, so we weren't sat together. But then we got off in Birmingham. We got the connection to Birmingham International because that is where the NEC is. Apart from we missed the stop. We literally were on the train. The train came into the station. We were stood up. We were thinking, oh, everybody's getting off. That's why nobody's moving. No, they weren't getting off. They were just standing up in the aisle. So by the time we realised that they weren't getting off the train, the train had already basically started started pulling out of the station again and we were like I was like where is the next stop and then this lady next to me was like oh I think it's Watford and I was like oh my god but then it turned out to be Coventry which was only like 15 minutes so it wasn't too bad but honestly it's so typical Lydia and I have no luck do we literally when we went no. to Berlin what two months ago I think we ended up yeah. on the wrong train at the wrong hotel Today we missed the stop and then we couldn't find the hotel and it was just... And then we came through the back and it's... Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. There was like a full-on wedding reception or maybe like a Christ... Like something where everybody was really dressed up. Me and Lydia walk in the back door of the hotel because we couldn't find the main entrance into this reception. It was clearly closed to this like private event. Everyone was really dressed up. We're there dragging our muddy suitcases through the back of the reception. And I was just thinking, how has this happened? Like, how has it gone so wrong? We're in our room. It's really, really nice. We're actually staying in the Crown Plaza. Plaza. It's quite a bougie room. Like honestly, it's a very much of an upgrade from the Ibis where we stay for summer in the city in um, August. It's not the same kind of vibe at all. But I think most people are actually staying at the Hilton because that is like actually joint on to the NEC. So a lot of the people at this event are staying there. So we don't really know what the plan is for tonight. We're taking it as it comes, but I think we're gonna go out for dinner. Eve is coming to meet us and she is staying in this room with us, but she's not getting here until like half past 11 tonight. But yeah, basically that's that. Rose. I mean, I look gross, but... Look hey. who's arrived! I thought I'd say, hey, I've got toothpaste. Eve's got toothpaste and a toothbrush in her mouth. But it's so much later, I literally haven't filmed anything, basically. Lydia and I tried to go for food. It didn't really work because everywhere was packed and we didn't think about it being so busy. Um, and we didn't book anywhere, so we ended up in this weird bar called... What was it even called? Like, World Bar? World Bar, World yeah. Bar. Um, and it was full of, like, middle-aged people on, like, works night out. So that was oh, really fun. Trust. They got our order wrong and they only brought us one pizza. Um, to share between the two of us. So it wasn't the best meal I've ever had. However, we had a very nice cocktail afterwards in Las Iguanas. Iguanas. Yeah. Oh, Iguanas. Yeah, and then Eve joined us and we're back in the Crown Plaza and we've just been chatting for like the last three hours. We always do this. We actually do always do this. I was like, oh, me and Lydia were like, oh, it's okay, we'll have an early night. We've got a long day tomorrow. 
Sorry, half I've past talked, one. I've talked your ear off. Yeah, no, but it's been good. Like, all of the conversation has been good. So, I'll pick you up tomorrow morning when this actually will start properly because tomorrow is the first day of the event, which is so exciting. We have a meet and greet at 11 a.m., which is <laughs> only nine and a half hours away from it's now. Right. As long as I have a coffee and they will be continuing. Yeah, also, there's a Starbucks downstairs, which is amazing, and we have breakfast included, which is even more amazing. Oh, so, I think we're going to be all good in the morning, and we won't be hungover either, so. Wow, what a novelty. What a novelty. What a first novelty. meet and greet. No, I'm joking. First day this week. <laughs> oh, all right, that's a bit serious. I was gonna go, usually at summer in the city, we go on a night out, but it's been a long week. It's right. been a long it's term a long... for you. You must be nearly at the end of your term now. Uh, I've got one one week left. I've got a 2000 word essay due, literally as like the day I get back from summer in the city that I've not started. But once I've done that essay, once that is handed in, I've, She's done. I have to go to lectures and stuff. Well, no, I don't because of the Wait, stars. when do you break up for Christmas officially? Friday. You... Literally this Friday. time. Friday. On Friday, I have a lecture at 1pm and I'm getting on a coach to France. So are you coming? Oh, you're not coming back to Birmingham at all? No, I'm going straight to France from... Of from... course you are! Wow, it's the next morning. <laughs> ah, we feel like we went out, but we didn't. <laughs> we went to sleep at about half past two. Every inch of my body hurts. Yeah, I'm not feeling my finest. It's eight o'clock, we need to leave in two hours. We've got free breakfast included, so we're about to go and do that. Also, oh my God, we woke up. Look at this. It's so foggy. It's so Look at that. Thick wall of fog. Where is the earth? The camera can't even focus on it. It's just not there. Look at that. We love the Midlands. <laughs> Alright, okay. I'm sick of this slander. No, I'm joking. It's just because Yorkshire's yeah, always the butt of the joke. But this is, are. this is... Um, you know it winds me up, so... I know. It's alright, you're not from here anymore. You're from Oxfordshire now. Okay, guys, we are on our way to winter in the city, or social in the city, whatever it's called. It is freezing cold. My curls have dropped out straight away because it's so cold. But even I have our meet up pretty much like now um, in like, well, half an hour, which is so exciting. I'm actually really glad that it's first because the only meet ups we've done in the past have been at like 4 p.m. in the yeah. afternoon. And that's not really a vibe when you get ready at like eight and then you kind of look a bit sweaty and like, you know, not the one. But I'm excited today. The lighting is really hard to vlog. I'm sorry. Um, but Lydia and Eve are here. Yep. Are you excited for the day? I think it should be. I'm intrigued to see I am so how intrigued. it works in Birmingham rather than in London because obviously it's not central and it's like it's very like contained. I so. think it will be smaller than some yeah, of the city. Sure. But that doesn't necessarily no, mean it'll be worse. Like I that might be nicer. I think it could be nicer, yeah. yeah that's what I mean. I'm excited. So sad. That is so sad. My hair, what the hell? What's happened to my hair? I did my hair and it looked nice and now it doesn't. Hi. We look alright now. It's a little Zoella vibes now, I feel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's 2014. Yeah. We're in six. We're about it's to do our meet and greet. We're about to go out. Um, what is going nervous. on? I've got diet cake. We're good to go. My hair looks pathetic. I'm sorry if you meet me. Okay, right, cool. we're gonna go. So if you edit all this out, Molly, remember I love you. Wow. <laughs> Focus on this camera's awful. I'm now in Spoons. I'm joking with these guys. And we're missing M, aren't we? There's yeah. a few of the, out of the group chat that I'm missing. But it's so nice to be able to like actually sit and chat to you instead of just having like a lunch. Guys, yeah. guess where we are. <laughs> we're in Weather Spoons. What a shock. <laughs> Um, but we just finished our meet and greet. That was so, so good. It was really, really nice to meet everybody. If you came to that, thank you for all being so lovely. And then we tried to go from there to the toilet and we bumped into so many people that were like our friends. So we bumped into like Hannah and Freddie. And then there was like Laura and Leah and Flo and Chloe. And then there was Ruby. Too and, many friends. Yeah, just like, there was just so many YouTubers. And I was like, I'm gonna hi, I'm gonna hi, I'm gi hi. Uh, which was really, really nice because I haven't seen anybody else yet because we're staying in a different hotel to so, like everybody else. You know, I said it's weird from seeing you vlogging yeah. the guys because we're like on this side yeah, of like the camera. Yeah, like seeing the camera. Yeah, I guess it must be weird like usually having watched it yeah. and then to see behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's such a strange day because of that, I think. But it's going really well. I'm actually really enjoying it. Of course, we've come to Spoons for some lunch. Eve's got two panels this afternoon. She's at the bar ordering at the moment um, because she's on two study two panels, I think. Oh. You order a drink, I'd really recommend oh. it. Picking it up. You know? Sorry, I totally forgot I ordered a drink. <laughs> I knew that was yours. It's orange juice, so I was like, it's definitely yours. We are watching the online community panel with Ellen and Neil. I'm the biggest Ellen and Neil fan, so I'm really fangirling right now. 
I'm, I'm going to be moderating this panel, um, so I'm going to be firing some questions at you guys. But, first and foremost, um, can we introduce everyone on the panel? Um, and then when my beauty channel got really big, I uploaded randomly a video about GCC revision tips, which I really did not think would be that popular. And um, everyone was like, wow, like, these are really good tips. And I was like, are these not, is this not common knowledge? And then I was like, right. This is a niche. I feel like this is something we can do. I've, I've struck gold here, and then before I knew it, I'd made another channel, which has now surpassed that channel in subscribers. The rest was history. There we go. It was all about having the most wholesome summer possible, and so I kind of, I actually spent a good like three, four hours like scouting through. You know, on Pinterest they've got these summer bucket lists, and I was going through like, what is the most idyllic thing that I can find? Too many study tubers. Like, are there any so many tips you can give? Oh. Hey. I don't think we vlogged together last time. No, we didn't. But we've been talking on Instagram. Yeah, we have. Everything else. We're all this is together. Sinead. This is Sinead. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Hair. She's got very cool hair. I really, really like it. <laughs> Are you having a good weekend? Yeah, I am. Yeah, what, cool. what has been your highlight so far? Um, seeing the traffic again on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch this panel? Yeah, I was looking. I was kind of looking for Stood you. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was literally the only person not on it. Yeah. So basically, guys, if you didn't get from the last clip, I was just vlogging their study tube panel, which was very good. But I was over there talking to Freddie and he was like, right, well, let's go look for Molly. So then we all came up here and looked for you and then I was like, oh, she's over there. Freddie and Hannah were behind me, bless them. Eve and Ruby are on the, what is this? Is that a wall post? I don't know. Like a twister. I think it's called the twister maybe. We have opted out because last time it made Lydia feel sick. Oh my God, I made such a massive mistake in summer in the city. Like I went on the bus and got over. And I had to go home, literally. Like, I got literally. that literally. And these kind of things always make me feel so emotion sick. So we were like, Guys, we ordered room service. I am so excited. Eva sat over here with a curry on her knee watching Gavin, Gavin and Stacey. Stacey. <laughs> we are living our best life right now because oh, yeah, we have had. Where they're singing Band Aid in the car. Oh, I love it. I just love Gavin and Stacey. I'm so excited for Christmas. I'm also very, very excited for that pizza. I'm not going to lie to you. They look amazing, Lydia. I'm so nice and warm. Guys, it has been a wee <coughs> few hours. Eve's got a cough. That was lovelyly timed. <laughs> anyway, yeah, basically we ordered room service, as you saw, I ate my pizza, I had a tiny nap, because it feels like even though we haven't done loads, it's been a long day. And now we are heading back out, and the after party for creators this year is like an event at the Bear Grylls Centre, which is next door. And basically we had the choice between like indoor skydiving, an escape room, high ropes, archery, loads of really weird things. And we have actually decided that we're doing an escape room. So me, Eve, Lydia, Jack Edwards and V are actually doing uh, an escape room. We don't know anything about it. We don't know the theme. We don't know like literally nothing other than <coughs> the five of us. So that is the plan, we're heading there now. And then potentially afterwards, we're going into Birmingham to go to Prism. You guys know how I feel about Prism. Eve has been to this one before because this is obviously her hometown. I've not been since results day, A-level results day. Wow, but is it a good night out usually? I, re I just rate it. Like it's, I mean, Oxford is a bit dead at times, whereas Prism has some good like, not house tunes, but like Prism is a reliable. Not metal. cheesy, but they have cheesy hits floor. But, but they, they also have, have like some good remixes. Yeah, stuff, it is. You know? It's a good, like it's a reliably good. It's definitely, out. just don't let me do any thing other than like white spirits. <laughs> right. Okay. So because of that, I can't obviously vlog an escape room because you're literally not allowed to take your phone or your cameras into that. <gasps> Are you not? No. Um, and then obviously after that, we're going to a club. So I'm gonna leave my camera at the hotel purely because um that's a sensible option it's a sensible option and also i'm not taking a bag so the next couple of clips if there are any will be filmed on my phone i'm sure i'll film a few so that is going to be from our night out whatever we get up to shot on my phone so goodbye for now goodbye for now <laughs> also we're watching strictly the Bruno beginning of it anyway who do you want to win either calvin or kareem i agree with but you just stuff on kareem's so yeah <laughs> yeah i agree with you calvin or kareem Guys, we're at the Bear Grylls Adventure Centre. I thought this was going to be quite similar. Yeah, I thought it was going to be similar to like Escape. If you guys live in Yorkshire, you'll know Escape. Don't think it is though. I think it's a bit more intense than that. So we just did an obstacle course and now I'm eating a muffin out of a pan. Yep, just your average Saturday night. I don't know what this is, but it's quite cool.
good morning guys it is now sunday um it's december also which is just absolutely crazy blew my mind last night when we were out and it like turned over to midnight and it was december all of a sudden anyway we went to prism last night we ended up going into the center of birmingham such a bizarre evening <laughs> we actually started the night off by going to a party a with TikTok a, a group of tiktokers yeah like a tiktok party <laughs> oh yeah so we actually went to bear grills which was like the official <laughs> after event we did an assault course instead of an escape room bit bizarre i'm incredibly unfit then we went from there back to the hotel room with jack and v and sat in here for about two hours just yeah. chatting and then we went from here to a house party in a village, literally a village, next to Solihull in Birmingham. Um, and it was a TikTok party. We stayed there for about 20 minutes, realised this is a weird vibe. Everybody's getting kicked out. Apparently the police are coming. Probably not, that was a lie. And then we got a taxi right back into Birmingham and went to prison. And we got to prison for about half past 12 and stayed there till 4. Quite we got back at 4. It is now... 20 to 12. That's actually like fairly recently. I'm actually proud of us. Yeah, I'm proud of us. We're all like, all right. well, I'm we're functioning. Gucci, I feel like. alright. Like, it'll hit me later, I think. Yeah, it'll yeah. so hit me later. Also, my mum and dad are coming up today, partly to drive me home, partly to see what the event is like. Um, so they're getting here in like half an hour, I think, or like an hour, which I'm so excited for because Tom and my brother are coming as well. They've never been to an event like this. I can't wait for them to see like what it's like because I feel like you can't really describe summer in the city. You have to just live it yeah basically i'm wearing this outfit it was my second choice of outfit because my other one was just like malfunctioning and the top just wasn't just wasn't a vibe so we've got changed and i'm wearing this with super ripped jeans and fake doc martens i go by brogan tate online and i'm a um weekly vlogger lifestyle vlogger my name is molly i have the youtube channel beauty spectrum um also lifestyle weekly vlogger travel quite a bit originally from East Yorkshire, yeah. Let's take a second to begin and we'll start talking about why we uh, arrived into making travel content. I want to know what it was the first, are you someone who lo loved to travel? Like my whole gap year I spent I think maximum two weeks in England. Yeah, kind of the same. So last year I did a foundation year at uni and I just really didn't enjoy it and I was like, I just want to be traveling. So last couple of months especially, I've uh, just been doing it as much as I can really over the summer and then going to Australia in January for a couple of months which I'm so excited about so yeah I kind of just fell into travel content because originally I was a lot more like lifestyle, university, that kind of thing, a bit of everything but yeah no, I think it depends because if you're doing like city breaks I would say I do quite a mixed bag between like this is us having a laugh and not really showing it too seriously and then like oh this is the kind of thing you could do if you came here as well. With that in mind how much of it do you, do you think changes the way you plan to go or does it have any effect whatsoever? Do you think oh I want to book a little break so I'll, I'll look for a place that is going to give me great content or do you just think I'm going to go to a place and I will find the content? Is it that way around? Yeah definitely more that way around. Yeah. Yeah. But people, people can tell when they're watching it if it's like oh they've told me to say this about this place so it's oh, not really like that. Right. I like doing a press trip. Yeah. I went to um, Palmer, it was my first trip of the year this year, and the tourist board organised it, and it was four days. New York, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they took us to loads of places I would never have gone. And if I know I'm going specifically to film a trip, I will think about it a little bit more, and like, I don't know, there's certain things that fit in like a travel video, so like the shot out of the window, and like things like that, that people kind of expect if they're clicking on travel content. There's so many landmarks and so many things that you know are gonna work on Instagram, but also just for a nice picture, that then it's like a little bit of both. But in terms of how long it takes, I think that depends who's taking the picture for me, because I'm like, I know where the boundary is. Are you like... Um, no, not super picky. Do you, but do you, I have friends who are like... Yeah. Like, you know what I yeah. want, you know? Like, I don't like... <laughs> to get the shot. Yeah, I have a friend who likes to take pictures from below, and I'm like, fish please, not today. A phone is it's great. a very good yeah, camera sure. to you. Like, you can yeah. vlog on your phone. Exactly. Right? Yeah, especially yeah. the new phones. Oh my God, they're amazing. Yeah. yeah, they are. Whereas now, if I'm on a trip, I film it all while I'm out there, and I have my laptop for, like, emails and stuff, but I don't edit anything until I'm home because I just find it... It, it just kind of ruins it. Like, you can't enjoy the evenings because you need to be editing yeah. and then I just get stressed, so. So, I'm currently with Hannah. We've just finished my panel. It's all a little bit mad right now, but, yeah, all is good. Were you watching the panel? Yeah. Like it? Could you hear us? I was so nervous that you couldn't hear us because you can't really tell when you have your mic. It's like, it's working. Um, but yeah, it's so lovely to meet you. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Do you want to say anything? Shout anyone out? Can you shout out to Casey? Katie, your cousin. Yeah. Katie, your cousin. There you go. We are about to do our panel. Basically, everybody's backstage. We're all just here. There's Anna and Flo and Chloe and Byron's over here. Um, we don't really know what's going on because we don't have a moderator, but 
Yeah. I'm gonna be fine. I told Tom and he's sorting it out. Oh, okay. Oh my god, can I be moderator for your panel? Oh my god, oh my I kind god. of thought you might. Like We're basically gonna be saying what we think about it, whether we like it, whether we hate it. Basically, our opinions. So, we ready? Can we introduce ourselves? Oh, yeah. Right, Molly, do you want to start? Hi, my name's Molly. I have the YouTube channel Beauty Spectrum. Um, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I don't know what I do. My name is Byron and I try. Hi, I'm Anastasia. I do a bit of everything. Challenges, 24 hour challenges. Woo! What do we think of Wiggly Brows? I feel like that was so long ago. Me I'm too. I like say that actually. I never joined that trend though. I never joined that trend. trend. I do it. I didn't like it. I wasn't a fan. No, I wasn't a fan. You've seen it just like going into town and somebody's there and they've got like <laughs> eyebrows. You're like, oh, that's a look. When you're as big as him, you can't really afford to do something no, like exactly. that and not address it and be like, oh, by the way, guys, I edited that. Like, yeah. you need to say it, not ignore it. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Okay, next one. Uh, euphoria makeup. What do you think? It's so cool. I really I like it. it. Like, I love the feeling you like it. It's fun. Can you spare five seconds to talk to me? Sure. <laughs> we are in the expo hall now. I'm joined with everybody here. My whole family are here now. Just wandering around with me. I'm kind of come to watch me do all my panels and stuff, which is so nice. You're here for the moral support. Did you enjoy my panel? Very good, well done. You've never been to an event like this. How are you finding it? I was really impressed with you being here. Thank you. The event itself? Bizarre, bizarre, overwhelming. Shall we go on a ride? Harry's found the computers. This is exactly where he will be staying. These guys have had such a weird day. They've basically just been watching my panels. As if my phone has died. Not my phone, my phone hasn't died. My camera has died. Actual joke. So I'm vlogging on my phone again for like the third time. Really, really didn't come prepared. Most people are here with like handheld tripods. I'm here on my phone. We love filming in the dark, but we're in the car. I'm squashed in the middle between Tom and my mum in the back because Harry's too tall for the back, apparently. It's Sitsy, well, Sitsy, Witsy, whatever it's called. 2019 is over. It was so good. I'll finish the vlog properly when I get in. So annoyed that my camera died. That's because I forgot to charge it overnight last night and I didn't realise how much of the footage of my meet and greet I had filmed. Like, I used so much footage filming that meet and greet. Love that, but it was worth it because the meet and greet was amazing. It was so nice to see everybody. My favourite part about this event is obviously meeting you guys and also reuniting with all of my friends like it's so 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 nice to see everybody in the same place and just like that the first ever winter in the city is over i can't believe how quickly this weekend has gone it is now the next day hence why i look a little bit dead behind the eyes because i am exhausted from this crazy weekend but it was so much fun it was so so good if you came and met me um i really really hope you enjoyed it and i always get so like just overthink it afterwards and think about how awkward i was so i'm really sorry if i was super awkward um but it's such a weird thing for me still to go to something like that and have you guys like queuing to meet me like i just don't understand it but i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had a really really good time i thought that the event was really good if you've ever watched these videos watched anybody's videos from events like this and you've thought oh i kind of want to go honestly i really recommend trying it because you don't know until you try it and um having my family there was really really amazing yesterday it was so nice for them to get to experience it um and see what it was like because obviously when i go to somewhere in the city i come back and i talk about it non-stop for like two weeks i don't know why my forehead is like a really weird color um but yeah i talk about it all the time and they just don't really get it because they've never been but now they've been and they kind of get it it's totally i don't know it's just cool it's just different anyway so basically the bottom line is thank you so much to everybody that i met and also i had the most lovely weekend with my friends it's always so nice to catch up with everybody because we just don't get to see each other that often at all like literally probably somewhere in the city and whatever other youtube event happens during the year be it vidcon big beauty day out they are the only times that i see some of those people and i actually really really love them all everybody is so lovely and that was something that my parents and my brother commented on as well like all of your friends were so welcoming and so nice like everybody introduced themselves to them which i thought was so polite like they didn't know who they were they didn't have to but like do you know what i mean it's just really nice so anyway i'm gonna go <gasps> oh my god lottie <gasps> I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, as I already mentioned, and if you were there and you came to meet me or watch my panels, thank you so much for the support. I shall be back on my channel tomorrow with a weekly vlog. So it's kind of gonna be the first fully Christmassy one because I'm not doing Vlogmas, but I'm doing like 
bi-weekly vlogmas or like double weekly vlogmas i don't know basically two christmasy vlogs a week on top of two videos a week during december so four videos a week all christmasy from now until christmas day basically so yeah i shall be back tomorrow all with a weekly vlog where we will be putting up the christmas tree bye guys